Steve Buscemi punched while walking street in New York. Shouldn't that be in the street? Walking in the street? Walking on the street? What do you mean while walking street? Street walking. Like times are hard for Hollywood, so now he's a male prostitute plying his wares <laughs> on the streets of New York. He's, a, he's become a fashionable red boy. Uh, anyway, Steve Buscemi got chinned while he was out walking in New York. And this is fantastic news because people like me that live nowhere near the big cities on account of the fact they're ran by raving lunatics who have turned them into swamps, basically into festering hellscapes where you can't even sit and eat a sandwich outside a cafe without seeing a homeless man's ring piece as he snaps off a foot of brown cable in a wheelie bin 10 feet away from your plate. So, yeah, that's what they've done to New York, and we all saw it coming 20 miles away. So I take pleasure in reading these type of stories. Also, bloke that lamped him looks like a bit of a unit, to be honest. I don't think I'd like a backhander off that fella. <laughs> uh, so I'm sure Mr. bissemi has got a bit of an headache today. But regardless, we're not just going to talk about homeless people defecating next to your face while you're trying to eat. Uh, we're going to cover a few big issues um, related to this type of thing. Endless violence, drug abuse, fear on the streets. Uh, and my old pal, Eric Adams, because I made a video about him way back in 2022, entitled uh, Eric Adams Wrecked New York on Purpose, where I pointed out his staggering hypocrisy because a year before he started crying about endless waves of immigrants because he can't do basic mathematics and he doesn't realise there's 4 billion people chomping at the bit trying to get to anywhere in the Western world. He was telling everybody, yep, come to New York, come to New York. As many people as want to come to New York should be able to come to New York. And then the city starts to fall to bits and he says, oh, this is weird. You know whose fault this is? Donald Trump's. Yeah, cheers then. So it's wholly irrational and I'm going to make this video to uh, rub his nose in it and obviously say I was right as usual because it still gives me pleasure even as the world falls to bits. All right, so let's get into it. So first things first, Steve Buscemi, crazy eyes, has now got crazy eyes because he's just been lamped by a unit in New York City. He was injured in a random attack by a passerby as he walked the street. He was left with bruises and a bloody eye. Police responded to an emergency call after 66-year-old man was punched in the face. The suspect, I guess you're allowed to photograph the suspect, but only if he punches a famous person. All right, if a bloke looks like that and he lamps you, you're not allowed to tell anyone. In fact, you have to blame Tony Romo or Count Dankula or <laughs> somebody. Someone who looks like me is to blame, all right? Unless they punch an actor, then fair enough. Totally reasonable, yeah? Makes loads of sense. And this is following on from, well, let's roll through some of them. Multiple women online say they were punched while walking around New York City. Multiple videos uploaded to TikTok have picked up traction in the last week with women online sharing their safety concerns in comments and reply videos. Several women came forward on social media and said they were punched by men while walking the streets of downtown Manhattan in broad daylight in the last month. Well, you voted for it. You're getting what, you're getting what you're asked for. Random gangs of scary, young, aggressive men walking the streets with nothing to do all day other than chin birds is exactly what you voted for, girls. So suck on it. I bet you're loving that, aren't you? You don't need to go to them nice Manhattan delis anymore because you get a knuckle sandwich every time you leave the office. <laughs> so it save you some money, won't it? Although not quite as nutritious. And from the Coalition for the Homeless, New York City reaches record levels of homelessness. It's been tracked since 1983 and has now hit an all-time high. Happy days! Happy days! The system works. And NBC reported that the New York policy on how long migrant families can stay in shelters was haphazard and ordered fines. Again, did you, need, did you need an audit to find that out, did you? There's 400 tents in a line outside the town hall and blokes shooting up in the middle of the street. And you need an audit to know that everything's going a little bit peak tong in New York City, really? And then this is my favourite bit. So, you know, you, you can go and check the receipts. I've got Eric Adams on video saying, of course anyone who wants to come here should come here. Just like Joe Biden did in the presidential debate in 2020, on telly, on camera, live at five, right? Straight looking at you in the face and saying, yep, 
anyone who wants to come here should be able to come here. Anyone from anywhere in the world. This has always been our policy. It hasn't. And it's always been our strength. It hasn't. But everyone who wants to come here should come here. Right? That's what they both said live on TV. Now let's see what he's saying now, shall we? The national government has turned its back on New York City. What he once dubbed as a political stunt by Texas Governor Greg Abbott became a new reality for the city. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. One time we were just in Venezuela. Now we're in Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. This bus terminal became the first welcome sign for migrants after hours long journeys from Texas. <laughs> you told them to come. What are you, what are you whinging for? You told them to come. You went on television and said, Everyone who wants to come here should come here. That's what you did, Baldy. So don't be losing your rag now. You're like Michael Winner crying for his soup in a restaurant. I want me soup. And then crying when they bring it over. You got exactly what you asked for. Whose fault is it? Mine? Is it my fault? You've got the IQ of a pork pie and you're running a major city? No, it's not. It's your fault. And it's the people in New York's fault. Because that's what they voted for. I mean, honestly, you can't put it any plainer. There are some occasions when you, can, you can't really blame the voters because, for example, in the UK, you've got numerous governments promising in the manifestos and going on television and promising and writing policies and procedures promising that they were going to bring migration down. And then they just put it up anyway. So that's not the voters' fault. That's just treachery and treason and lies from the absolute walking toilets that run the United Kingdom. But in this instance, you have to blame the voters. Because when you go on television and you make a central part of your platform, yes, I am going to increase immigration hugely, and anyone who wants to come here should come here. When you do that and everything goes completely tits up, you can't even, you can't really blame the migrants. You've got to blame the people in New York. And you blame the duplicitous mayor who says one thing and then six months later denies ever saying it and blames everybody else. Oh, it's Greg Abbott's fault. No, it's your fault, Baldy. And it's your voters' fault. And if you're in New York and you've been lamped recently, you've chewed on a knuckle sandwich whilst minding your own business in the middle of the street, you're welcome. You're welcome. You got what you deserved. You got what you asked for. I hope you like the taste of a big hairy hobo's knuckles because <laughs> that's exactly what you're getting. And you asked for it. So don't blame me. Don't come crying now. But that's just what I think. If you don't think that we're clear enough and we should pity the people of New York, please let me know in the comments. I like I, I don't know how else you could say it more plainly. What do you want him to do? Drive around your house and tattoo it on your face? Yes, we will bring more unvetted men to your town. Could do that, I suppose. But it's just another waste of the taxpayers' money, if you ask me. Clear addiction live on television seems to be enough in my eyes, but what do I know? Anyway, thanks for watching, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take it easy. Toodle pip.